Welcome everyone, Ed here with The Great Indoors, and today is a follow-up video to uh, another video that I posted back in April. Today I'm outside of New China Buffet in Menor, on Menor on the Lake, and they are opening tomorrow. So we're going to take a look inside to see what type of changes have been made to the New China Buffet all over again. Opening October 17th, which is tomorrow, Saturday. One thing that I noticed that's really cool, when you walk in, they have the meter that can take your temperature. Let's see if it works. I guess I don't have a temperature. How does it go? What does that mean? 36.3. I think that's normal. That's in Celsius, so I, either that or I am very cold, okay? All right. Okay, we're inside the new Chinatown Buffet, and I just got done talking with one of the owners over here, and it turns out that it's not going to be much different than before this whole uh, thing started with uh, the coronavirus. You get your table where you sit down over here, and you tell the server what you want to eat and they go up to the buffet it's not set up right now but you get the idea you tell them what you want and they go to the buffet and put it on your plate for you and bring it back to where you are sitting we'll see how it goes it's a little different than what i'm used to seeing at other buffets i like the idea well, the bottom line is the food is really good here, and I really enjoy eating here, so I am looking forward to eating here. So I'm going to try to uh, come back, if not tomorrow, Sunday, and try out the buffet, and I'll bring that video to you guys next coming up. Lunch prices have gone up a dollar from $4.99 to $5.99, and also dinner prices have gone up from $7.99 to $8.99. In my opinion, it's still a pretty good deal. China Buffet looks like uh, it's going to be a great return, but at the same time, I do question the efficiency of placing your order to the waitress or the server without really knowing what's on the buffet. The buffet should have, they should have a piece of paper that you could point at to say what you want, because not only that, there's the language barrier that's involved there. How do you know they're going to understand what you're saying, what you want? And then to allow customers to walk up to the buffet and look at it and memorize what's on the buffet and then try to repeat that all over again to the server there's a lot of moving parts there that may not always work the way you want it i don't know with uh, the social social distancing policies in line i don't see how that could be a very efficient way to go about getting your food that's just me if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done that yet either. Thanks for watching The Great Indoors with Ed and Michelle. Have a great indoors day. Bye.